Telemetry in launch condition. Affirmative. Missile in internal DC. Affirmative. Pressurization complete. Affirmative. T minus 60 seconds and counting. Status check. Range safety arm light on. Affirmative. Range ready? Ready. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The senator isn't taking any calls right now. All right. Morning, Nancy. Are you in? Yes, he's expecting you. Just a moment. Senator, Mr. Connell is here. Hey, Victor, come in. Should I continue to hold the calls? Yes, Nancy. Thank you. All right. Problems? No. It's going pretty smooth so far. Kill those men. Senator, I just heard what happened. It's, it's awful. We've got work to do. We'll be in the computer room, Nancy. We'll get a replay on the countdown tapes with a computer cross check on all systems in sync. We'll screen videotapes of all personnel admitted to the restricted area in the last 48 hours. But first, Bertha here is going to tell us which department can put an effective stop to this killing and sabotage. Bertha, baby, I don't have much to go on. But here it is. The first screwy threat we got. for today's little gem from your TV set.
I got your message. What's so bloody important that you took me off the Mexico sign? I was in the air looking forward to it. Star Flight 12, Sabrina, blasted right out of the air. When? Just now. Oh, my God, those men. First off, you two haven't really been introduced. Senator Stockwell, Sabrina Kincaid. The senator, as you may know, is head of the Senate Defense Committee and personally pushed through the entire Star Flight program. Oh, yes, I've been quite aware of the senator and his program. Uh, it's been pretty well publicized. What we haven't publicized is this. I need microfilm plans of anaballistic missile with K-bomb warhead. Messenger will arrive Thursday. If I do not receive microfilm, there will be a national disaster on following Tuesday. Do you think this is the national disaster he was talking about, or could it just be a coincidence? When we were watching the liftoff, the senator's TV screen was scrambled. We checked. Nobody else received that transmission except us. A voice came over. The first thing it said was, are you watching well, Senator? And then I managed to tape this. Next time, perhaps you'll listen. Play it again. Next time, perhaps you'll listen. Oh, I know that voice. I'd swear to it. Can you place it? Not quite, but I will. What about the messenger that was supposed to show up last Thursday? Did, did anyone arrive? Yes? Nancy, would you bring in the messenger who arrived last week? A pigeon? Is that all? He's carrying a small metal container. Just about the right size for a microphone. How did it get here? Nancy got a phone call Wednesday while I was at lunch. A man told me to keep all the windows open in the west side of the office. Um, he said if this bird didn't get back, then he would send another one in exactly two weeks. And if that one didn't get back, then the senator would only have himself to blame for whatever may happen. What do you think he'll do next? We don't know. Thank you, Nancy. All right. <laughs> a bird yet. Tell me, uh, if this was the only set that received the transmission, could it... We've already checked. If there were any electronic gadgets, they're gone. Yes, Mr. President? I understand, Mr. President. Yes, you have made that perfectly clear, Mr. President. May I ask a favor, sir? Before you announce the suspension of the Starflight 12 program indefinitely, would you give my committee a little more time to investigate some information that's just become available? I think so. Two weeks? Thank you, Mr. President. So, the President has given you two weeks. And so is our fine feathered friend. Well, I guess I better get to work. There's a list of personnel the computer picked from the doll squad. Oh, Carol Pierce, Sharice Mitchell, two very good girls. I suggest you start with them. They both worked space flight security before. Well, I'll be in touch as soon as I round up the girls. Gentlemen. tonight. Um, can you make it? Woman's live meeting. Mr. Conley presiding. Well, of course he is, doll. Nine o'clock at the fire and flame? I'll be there. Good. 
How about a workout? No thanks. I'll be getting plenty of that later. <laughs> Ciao, girl. Ciao, baby. All right, girls, let's get back with it. I want you with me, since you have workspace security. I see. Never need it. I'm never without it, but I keep hoping that I won't need it. So, I'm counting on you to be at the meeting tonight. Nine o'clock at the fire and flame. Okay. Okay. Split, little man. I have a date. You had two dates. One with the black belt chair. And this one. Excuse me. <laughs> now, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Could I at least have a cigarette before I go? Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Stick it in your mouth. Stick it in your mouth. just about every area of our security. Any explanations from you two experts? We lost two experts last night, Senator. I came damn close to making it three. That's why I asked for a meeting here today. 
Not only has your space program been infiltrated, but so has your own office. You see, both messages came to your office, and your TV monitor was tampered with. You've got a pigeon sitting in your office, Senator. I'm afraid it doesn't have wings. Well, there's another one due in two weeks. Paul! We know just how rough they're playing now, Senator. We also picked up a little more information last night. Oh. I had our people pick up those two men last night, both DOA. The police surgeon made a fast check and found that both men had silver discs implanted in the back of their necks. The hell does that mean? I'm afraid it means that one of our agents could be trying a switch. Oh. We came on a group about three years ago, setting up agents around the world, trying to start massive student unrest in the major cities. The infiltrators identified each other by implanted silver discs in the base of the skull. A signal from the disc told the agent he was with a friend. Cool. You think it's the same group? It's impossible. We found their list and we busted every one of their agents. One way or another, there just aren't any left. But in breaking up that conspiracy, we had to make our own agents aware of the disks. It was a verbal only, top secret communication. Only to our agents. Nothing about the disks was ever put into writing. Well, then it's a coincidence. Hardly. Pull. Pull. Take it easy, lady. You'll live longer. What time is it? One ten. Well, I got a meeting at two. Here we go. Senator, from here on in is complete security. You won't know any more than is absolutely necessary. Knowing Sabrina, I probably won't know much more than you do. Unless she asks for help, it's her ball game right down to the last inning. Look, after what happened last night, are you sure Sabrina can handle this? Show him. Ignite grenades with time fuses, mini cameras with instant developing. Altitude bomb, breakaway rifle with scope, lipstick recorders, signal homers. Sabrina's little nightcap, nitrous light. It's odorless and it's tasteless. Just mix it with alcohol, drink it, and it's one for the road, all in little pieces. You mean it explodes from inside the body? Highest explosive we've got short of the atom. Well, mind me not to have a drink with you. Oh, not to forget my little ring, filled with highly concentrated mace. And if I set the time device here, the whole thing becomes a satchel. Would you like a demonstration of my little game setting? <laughs> no, no, no. You, you have my vote, Serena. I'm sorry I doubted you. Is there anything I can do? Well, as a matter of fact, there is. I would like access to the computer room. I've got a couple of ideas. You've got it. on the tape after you rigged the senator's TV monitor. Now, where is he? I don't know. Oh, look, sweetie, uh, this is just the beginning. I can think of all kinds of little games to play if you really want to. Now, tell me, uh, where'd the love of your life stash? He'll kill me. I can't tell you. No sooner than I will. Look, tell me where he is, and I'll see that you get protection. If you don't, you won't need protection, because I won't let you walk out of here alive. Now, which is it? It's in an island somewhere. Where? What's the name I, of the island? I don't know. I don't. Where is it? I, what's the name of the island? What is it? I, 
Lorenzo near Curacao. Off the coast of Venezuela. That carrier pigeon was trained to fly to the roof of Nancy's apartment. And sweet little Nancy was going to take the microfilm of the anabolistic missile plans, hop a boat, and bring the plans to Eamon, all with a cute little kiss. Nancy, I, I don't understand how you could get mixed up with something like this. Well, I still don't think I've done anything wrong. I love him. Senator, uh, <clears throat> sex and security just don't mix. Sabrina, when are you leaving? Well, just as soon as I round up the rest of the doll squad, and you give me a phony microfilm that only an expert could decipher. I'll take care of it. I'll also arrange an island contact for you. She's taken something, quick! <coughs> Cyanide, it's nothing anybody can do. The sooner you're underway, the better. Your library card, please? Oh, of course. It's uh, right here in the book that I'm returning. I see. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Show, Big Red, what brings you to Vegas? Fun or games? Games. Games? Come on in. And apparently, Eamon's been offered a fortune for the anabolistic missile plans. Oh, he's got quite an operation going. And we're the chosen ones to stop him, hmm? Well, that's what the computer said. I don't know, it seemed to pick up something in Eamon's personality that experienced women should do the job. What it is yet, I just can't pinpoint. Well, Big Breath is never wrong. I hope. Who briefs us? I do. The instructions are inside. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, Lavelle, please, don't try to contact me before the rendezvous point. You've already lost two in the preliminaries. Carol and Cherise. As a matter of fact, Eamon O'Reilly's psychological profile indicates occasional impotence, which seems to stem from an Oedipus complex. And any man who is thoroughly castrated by his mother is a prime candidate for some psychotic outburst, given the right circumstances to set him off. And since he apparently has been set off, we're not simply dealing with an erotic. Eamon O'Reilly is a madman. Oh, was it, Rich? Well, it was two-tenths of a second longer than your last Olympic record. Oh, that's not good enough. The competition's really rough this year. Hi, Sharon. Sabrina. Glad to see you're in top form. Thanks. I haven't seen you since the blasted U2 affair. What's up? Another blasted affair. Well... It's an ex-agent, Eamon O'Reilly. We think he blows up rockets. Terrific. But I really need you, Sharon. I wouldn't ask you if I didn't. I know. But is there a pool around <laughs> so I can practice a little bit on the job? There's a whole bloody ocean out there, Sharon. You can swim to the rendezvous point if you like. But, um, just be there Wednesday, okay? Okay. They really think the doll squad can stop me. <laughs> They're sending sweet Sabrina. 
Sounds like you already know, sweet spree. As for Agent SQ-6, whose cover is... Joseph! Yeah? What the hell was it that tape said? Won't we play it again for you? No, oh, no, just refresh my memory. All right, a tape said SQ-6 is undercover at a carnival. There's only one employee who seems to have no past at all. No address, no records of any kind. Her name is Ruval, Kim Ruval. She's very pretty, Eamon. I'm sure you're anxious to meet her. Damn it, Maria! Your jealousy drives me insane. Maria, you're useful to me in various ways. But if you wish to remain useful... Eamon, I love you. If you love me, Maria, you trust me and believe me. Otherwise, your usefulness will come to an end. Fascinating idea. Won't we get the carnival chain, Eamon? Of course. And see if she's as beautiful as Maria says she is. We need your help now. SQ6. We? Meaning exactly who? Well, the meeting you're supposed to have tomorrow night at 11. Something happened to SQ5, so the others still need uh, to bring it to them. So what's the code of this operation? Oh, they said they'll Id uh, identify when you get there. They're right over there in the parking lot. After what happened to SQ5, well, they don't want to be seen together. But if you want me to tell them you're not coming... Wait. There's a gun pointing at you and I've been known to get very nervous. If people don't tell me the truth. Baby, baby, I'm straight, I swear it. So prove it. Over there. Try to kill me. Try to kill me, you. This is not an amateur bout, my dear Joseph. Professionals use violence for a purpose, not for their own emotional outlet. Subtlety, my dear boy, subtlety. That chick was gonna kill me, Amy. That chick was gonna kill me! We're just lucky I brought her back here alive. No, my dear Joseph. You're lucky you brought her here alive. If you hadn't, I would have killed you. Now, get me Dr. Kahaman and prepare for prosthetics. Well, Maria, tonight we shall have a new face.
No, I just thought that my knowing him might somewhat help. It might help, Sabrina, but it also may get you killed. That's true, but it's just a chance I'll have to take. Lavelle, you're the best in electronics. Coordinate our homers so that we can all make contact. Liz? I've taped everything that I can think of about Eamon's personality. Play it back and see if there's anything that can help us. Right. Do you know where he is, Sabrina? No, but I have a pretty good idea that he's back somewhere up in the hills. Look, Sharon, I want you to follow me tonight. I'm going to be meeting an agent, SQ6, by the name of Miss Kim Laval. Do any of you know her? No. No, no I don't either. The Central Center, I guess that she's okay. But just in case, I want you behind me, all right? Sure. Hi, I'm Kim. Are you Sabrina? I'm sorry. Uncle John sent me. I'm SQ6. Oh. You sure picked a great contact point. Let's go talk in my car. Uh, my car. How many others are with you? Enough. No one you know. And what have you found out about him? Do you know where he is? That's what you were supposed to find out for us, Kim. But I wasn't able to. Don't you have any other island contacts? Anyone that could help us find him? Then how do you plan to find him? I've been asking one too many questions. Get over there. as I thought. Get in the car. Go on. Joseph Damon. Joseph Damon. Come in, Joseph. She busted Maria and she took off with her. <laughs> right. with Eamon. Then they took her to Dr. Kahaman's office. I knew Dr. Kahaman was involved in this. Maria, show me on the map where Dr. Kahaman's office is. There, in the town. That's excellent, Maria. Now I want to ask you one more question. What is Eamon going to do if he doesn't get the microfilm for the missile plans. Yes. I can't. I can't. Maria, no. you don't have to answer the question. You don't have to answer the question. You're relaxing, you're letting everything go, and you're going into a very deep sleep. You can't hear anything. You feel very good. Well, here's the doctor's office, and this is Eamon's pad right there. It's clear across the island. Well, it's on the windward side and deserted, according to this. Look, I want you to bring her down to the garage in 10 minutes. Put the mask on her. We're going to go get Kim. And also, I want you and Lavelle to go into town and hit some of the bars and get us a boat.
Kim, it's me, Sabrina, SQ5. I'm sure Maria has everything precisely under control. You may dispose of the girl at once. on people like that, Captain? Forgive me, it's a bad habit. Are you about ready to leave? Yeah, Any time. Prepare to shove off. Aye, aye,
AFF 0607 to Island Post. Come in. Captain, we'd like to take the skip to the island. But when we reach a point near this cove... We're practically there now. You sure you can handle that skip alone? You won't lose your boat, if that's what you mean. We're just going to do a little rock hunting. Can you guarantee paying for it if you wreck it? Oh, absolutely. Okay, I'll get you as close as I can to the shore. Uh, thank you, Captain. Well, we land here. There seems to be plenty of cover. And according to Maria, Amon will be about five miles south of that cove. Oh, I wonder where Cat and Liz are now. I wonder how they're doing. What are you girls doing here? Uh, we've just been doing a little rock hunting. I never heard of anyone doing any rock hunting out here. Well, sure, that's why we came here. It's called Virgin Territory. What do you mean, Virgin Territory? Listen, you guys, I gotta get out and stretch. Yeah, it is so trapped in that cave. Wow, am I hungry. I am too, and thirsty. You fellas must be thirsty, it's so hot out here. Let's see what little girls take along with them when they go rock hunting. Uh, look here, group. Cookies. Would you fellas like to share some cookies? Well, I bet you boys haven't eaten all day. You're right. You're right. We haven't. something stronger than a cookie. Now, doesn't that feel mm. good? Hits the spot. It sure does. Brain oh. or no? Drink a little more oh, of that. Mm. One more swig. Good for you. Oh. Hey, how about that? Nice? I don't feel so good. Neither do I. Say, I got just the thing for you fellas in the truck. Just come on. For you to go back to the city and come back in two days. Two days? Are you sure? They're gonna stay out there with no food or shelter for two <laughs> days? That's what they say. But I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to be their guy, right? It's a good idea. Listen, I'll come back tomorrow afternoon and check on them, just to make sure. Tell them if they want to come back with me to meet me on the beach at noon. To meet you on the beach? All right.
right for them. Take cover! Give yourselves up now and you will not be harmed. Oh, yes, your prescription. Oh, right now I'm busy with my rats, and Dr. Gahayman is busy initiating a new guard. I need them. I know you do, my boy, and you shall have them. After you bring me the girls. I did. I did. Uh, Mr. Gahayman, will you take care of the poor boy, please? Oh, of course. Amen to leader one, Amen to leader one, come in leader one. Leader one. Have you found the birds? No signs of them. Search continuing. Switch to wrist communication, Raphael will contact. Leader one, synchronized sonar radar scan. This one's finished. Now remember, when you wish to identify a friend, stand facing the person directly. Press the button. If there is no signal, shoot to kill. Now join your group. Well, gentlemen, we had best prepare to welcome the ladies. that you're Maria wearing the mask. Yeah, so why can't I go on ahead and keep him busy? Well, you guys move in. Because if you couldn't take your mask off, he'd kill you, that's why. Oh, well, I can take care of myself. Sure you can, honey. Just how many jobs have you been on? So this is my first. And it'll be your last if you get any more crazy ideas. Raphael, what are you doing here? I just thought I'd follow you. Keep an eye on you girls. Why? Well, it's pretty dangerous on the side of the island. Hey, I don't know what you girls are into, but I just saw a whole bunch of men with machine guns and all that coming well, towards you. Where are they? Over there. You better follow me. Come on. Stop where you are. You are surrounded. 
not attempt to escape or you will be shot. Okay, let's move out. This way, move out, move. Yeah, what is it? We have brought in the prisoners. You have your orders? Yes, sir.
have the jelly and the caps at the end of the walkway. All right, let her go. You can leave us now. Now, Sabrina, is it really you? Is it really you, Raymond? Oh, I can't believe that you're the same man that I... Oh, it's all beginning to make sense. Two guys. Everything you planned it all. Why? Why? Now you're being the hard, the tough Sabrina. When I remember the soft, sweet Sabrina. And I can remember a different Eamon, too. A loving Eamon. A gentle Eamon. Oh, and now, all this. This? This is my glory, my kingdom. With these, I will be king. Amen. I... Oh, that's all right, Doctor. You don't know this woman. She can be glorious. Amen. You're making a mistake. Are you doubting me? I never make mistakes. Do you understand that? What is it, Amen? What is it that'll make you king? This. Dr. Kahiman and I have isolated a virus strain. This is the end result ready for distribution. Distribution to whom? To the world. Through agents we have in key cities throughout the world, even now as we speak, Sabrina. Come, my dear. that your agents are distributing. The key to empire. Bubonic plague. Check the rats with the plague. Nobody will be expecting it. What a dramatic way to make one's wants known. And just what are your wants, Amy? Well, Sabrina, there are always countries who want things from other countries. For instance, I have buyers who want the missile plans from your country. I have buyers who want political prisons released. I have buyers who want gold bullion to make their countries rich again. And all of this will make us rich once my rats are nibbling on flesh throughout the world. I will be given everything I want, Sabrina. I have to talk to you. The girls are losing the compound and no one knows where. Well, if it isn't the swinging little junkie who was going to save our lives. The agents are here. They're coming over. Their planes are waiting. We have to brief them. Uh, please forgive me, my dear. The men are waiting to return with their little packages of plane. Uh, take her to my suite. And treat her like a princess. I'll be with you shortly.
great scope of our mission, the fact that we cannot fail. When you return to your respective countries and the operation put into effect, we will then control the destinies of Great Britain, France, Germany, and Yugoslavia, and Russia, China, and the United States of America. You will each be given enough virus plague to infect over a thousand rats. As you know, rats have long been the scourge on the face of the earth. They have been called one of the greatest menaces to mankind because of their reproductive abilities, for which we are thankful. Each rat you infect will in turn breed scores of similarly infected rats, making our job that much simpler and, and massively more effective. <clears throat> Does the representative from France wish to address us? This job we do, I realize the necessity. I realize also the danger involved to ourselves. We will not be infected? No, we will not. Before you leave here tonight, Dr. Kahaman will inoculate each of you against the virus plague. Now we know this virus we're dealing with. That's the beauty of our mission. We shall all be immune. But the rats will spread the plague throughout the entire world. The symptoms will confuse and bewilder the medical profession. They will discover the cause, of course, eventually. But by then, to manufacture a cure for the millions of victims will be a monumental task. Populations of entire cities will drop like flies. What about our families? They too will be inoculated? You will be given enough serum for your families. And our friends? Sir, in this business we have no friends. If you think otherwise, you had best leave now. No, I mean, no, no, I, I, I didn't mean that. Uh, I was simply speaking for others who might have a friend or two. I myself, of course, had none. You have noticed these canisters. You will each be given two canisters identical to these. They will be placed in a black case and chained to your left wrist so there will be no danger of misplacing them. You will be given keys to unlock them once you have reached the safety of your laboratories and are ready to infect your rats. You will also be issued maps as to where to release the rats and how many to be released in each particular area. You are to follow instructions exactly. There are to be no variables. Is that clear? Then we are ready for the inoculations. We'll begin with Germany. Dr. Kahneman. Sharon and Liz. Sharon was hit pretty bad. I told, I told Liz to take her to the jeep. I hope they make it. Did you manage to plant anything? Yeah, I planted a full bag of jelly out in front and the altitude bomb in Kahane's briefcase. And I've got the place rigged from top to bottom and enough jelly here to blow this place to Tokyo. Oh, it's got to go in an hour. Eamon's got his agents here from all over the world. They'll only be here for another hour. Then we'll get them all. Oh, if we don't, he's going to kill a hell of a lot of people with the bubonic plague. <laughs> what time is it? I got 11 straight up. Same here. Listen, give me till midnight. I need some proof to take back. Is the camera in there? Yeah, it's here now. Good. If I'm not out of here by midnight, blow it. Then we'll set everything for 12, so work fast.
burned out my eye. Uh, Remember? Do you know what I'm gonna do to your eye? Do you know what I'm gonna do to your eyes? Remember? Uh, I'm the one who burned the eyes out. Do you know what I'm gonna do to your eyes? Do you know what I'm gonna do to your eyes? Do Wonderful exhibition of self-defense. Well, what shall it be, my dear? Will you rule the world with me, or shall I kill you? Why don't you kill me, Eamon? Oh, sweet, you're going to inoculate me with the serum. No, I'm going to inject you with a plague. The last time this was used was on one of my little beasties. You would, wouldn't you? Well, you obviously know about the serum, the mission, the plague. I have no choice. But you do, Sabrina. Oh, I wish I had the words to make you believe in me again. I wish I could bring back the feelings you once had for me in Germany. Oh, it's sure to bring back feelings and make me believe in you again, Eamon. Oh, you are just damn way because you fell into the trap. You forget, Sabrina. We've had the same training. All right, I won't need you for a while. You'll be in my room for a short while. obviously need mine to Now why do you say that, my pretty? Why else have you waited to kill me? Because, Sabrina, I know you still love me. What we had between us only happens once in a lifetime, if at all. Sabrina, I don't want to use you. I just want to love you. I knew it was still there. I knew you'd come with me, Sabrina. Did you, Eamon? Tell me, Eamon. You still have that picture of martinis waiting in your room at night? Like I used to do? Yes, I do. We'll bring to the future.
future, Sabrina, and to us. To us, Amy. Mm. Very nice. Oh. My sweet, my love. I wish I could trust you enough to let you live. So it was all a game. <laughs> all of life is a game, Sabrina. I just wanted a moment with you. A moment alone before you die. No, I couldn't take you with me if I couldn't trust you, could I? No, of course not. Because the minute you turned your back, I'd kill you. Oh, 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 oh Sabrina. That's why I love you. You could always make me laugh. Let's see, how would I kill you? I'm curious. First of all, I'd have you stand up right here beside me. And if I didn't? If you didn't, then I'd just reach over and I'd kiss you like this. <laughs> Sabrina. That was a good try. What would you do then? I think I'd just give you a little push like that. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd pick up the pitcher of martini. Oh, you'll, you'll drown me with the martinis. That's why you're going to kill me, Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> We got three minutes. Come on, let's go. was hit. Let's took to the Jeep. Time. Two to midnight. There!
Okay, then let's head for the boat. Mike, you okay? Yeah, yeah, all right. Where's Ken? She was killed in the shack. Let's move. SF-8724, SF-8724, Central, come in Central. Come in Central. This is Central. Connolly here, Sabrina. What do you have to report? Situation A-OK. -okay. What the devil does that mean? It means you can send up your rockets again, Chief, and you won't be getting any more pigeons. You can consider it case closed. I'll be giving you the details when I get back. Then it better be tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why? Because the computer just came up with you again. Well, you can just tell that computer to go chase itself around the mountain, fly a kite, and go shove something up a tree, and furthermore... Hold it, hold it. This is Stockwell. Listen, how much time would you like to have off? I think I can handle your boss. A week, Senator. Just to remind myself I'm still a lady. You've got it. Thanks, Senator. I owe you one. to go back to town now, Miss Kincaid? No, I think we'll stay on for a few days. Just take us wherever you think is pretty. Well, that must be a nice way to live. You ladies uh, just go where the notion strikes you. Know, relaxing. Yeah, relaxing. Yes, it's a very nice life, Captain. <laughs>
Double down. 